My contributions will take two forms. Uh, the first contribution will be looking at the impact of, the, of climate change, of the ecological crisis, on how we think about the very disciplines uh, that we're engaged in. In other words, that when we have to think about the role of humans in a world in the age of the Anthropocene, so the age of human-induced climate change, uh, we have to think about the relationship between uh, humans and other species. Uh, so we've got to ask ourselves, um, what do the humanities look like in this very, very changed uh, world? Do we have to think about the post-humanities? If the role of humans, uh, how we perceive uh, humans, uh, how they perceive themselves, is being altered uh, by the fact of climate change, um, then we need uh, the conceptual and the theoretical and the analytic tools uh, to be able to understand this uh, increasingly uh, post-human uh, condition. So that's the first uh, contribution. The second contribution is to look at something that is very much an integral part of people's lives, uh, with namely uh, food and, and drink. If, if we think of the pizza, if we think of champagne, uh, we think of things that travel, food items that uh, travel. Um, so what are the consequences uh, then for the fact that basically uh, when we sit down to eat increasingly, we find the world in our plate. So that mixture, if you like, between the specific identities that give rise to specific food cultures and then the mobility of, of food cultures uh, and how, what are the impacts, what are the consequences then for how we uh, define or think of ourselves in terms of the more composite cultural identities that, 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 that people have. So because food and drink is something we actually ingest, we actually take into ourselves, it becomes part of our, our, our substance. Um, it is a very real contact with, with cultural difference. And if we take into, bear in mind, the ecological dimension, uh, when we think about what kinds of uh, farming practices are we going to have going into the future, what kinds of practices of consumption with respect to, to food, uh, the preparation, the production, the consumption of food, how is this going to affect uh, different food cultures uh, across Europe?